To the Honorable President of the Colegio de Kinapawan College, Madam Janice Mertz Martinez, the vibrant dean of the College of Mercy, Ma'am Fe Estampa, RN, RM, MAN, coordinators, faculty, staff, parents, and students, a pleasant morning to all of you. I am delighted to be invited here today as your guest speaker in this year's Nurses Week celebration of the Nursing Department of Colegio de Kinapawan College. The theme, Sustaining Excellent Education in the Midst of the Pandemic, is timely and relevant with the current educational situation here in the Philippines in response to the global health situation and the development of healthcare practice. In the recent talk of Dr. Emerson Aya from the University of New York, Rory Mayer's College of Nursing, he emphasized that according to the International Council of Nurses, student nurses' studies were disrupted by the pandemic in 2020. Schools were closed and faculty professional advancement were delayed. In the Philippines, all nursing schools were at the same time greatly affected by the IAEF guidelines for non-face-to-face -face instruction. Deans and faculty of these nursing schools has been challenged to respond positively. Nursing faculty applied various models and strategies in the provision of quality nursing education in this new normal. Despite the eminent threat of this pandemic, the nursing schools were able to find effective and innovative learning approaches to enable the students to access best inputs from our committed nursing instructors to the use of our online platforms, digital applications, and learning management system. Academic years 2020 and 2021 has been marred with so many challenges that nursing schools in the region and Colegio de Kinapawan in particular emerge and thrive out of this. It empowered the academic leaders to assist faculty members to unleash their ingenuity to offer relevant teaching and learning experiences with students. The Commission on Higher Education's mandate of restructuring our curriculum allowed everybody in the academy to become instructional designers. Nursing instructors were equipped to handle and conduct virtual lectures, virtual demonstration of procedures, and virtual clinical duties by using varied clinical scenarios. Instructors were able to maximize the use also of various technological resources to facilitate learning. Partnership with various health agencies allowed Filipino student nurses to develop certain terminal competencies making them prepared to handle patients of different conditions. To all who are listening today, let me share you this beautiful story to remind us on how we are called to respond to difficult situations as this pandemic. It's the story of an egg, carrot, and coffee beans. A young woman struggling with life went to her mother and told her how her life was miserable and hard. She was tired of fighting and struggling with the problems and wanted to give up. Her mother, without saying much, took the young lady to the kitchen. She filled three pots with water. In the first pot, she placed the carrots. In the second one, she placed eggs. 
and in the last one, she placed the brown coffee beans. She let them sit and boil without saying a word to her daughter. And the daughter wondered what her mother was trying to do while she was complaining about her life. After some time, the mother turned down the burner and fished the carrots and the egg out and placed them in a bowl. Then she added the coffee out in the cup. Turning to her daughter, she asked, Dear, tell me, what do you see? A carrot? Egg and coffee, she replied. Look closer and feel the carrots, said the mother. And the daughter noted that they were soft. And the mother then asked her, to take the egg and break it. The interior of the egg was hard boiled. And finally, she asked her to sip the coffee. Its rich aroma brought a smile to her face. The daughter then asked, What does this mean, mother? All the three items, carrot, egg, and coffee, went through the same situation. The boiling water. However, each reacted differently. The carrot was strong, hard, and unrelenting. However, after being subjected to the boiling water, it softened and became weak. The egg was fragile with the outer shell and its liquid interior. But after being in the boiling water, it hardened its interior. The ground coffee beans were unique. As it came to the boiling water, it changed the water and gave its incredible aroma. What are you? She asked her daughter. How do you respond to difficult situations? Are you a carrot, an egg, or a coffee bean? Are you a carrot that seems strong at first, but becomes soft and loses strength in adversity? Or are you an egg that starts with a malleable heart that hardens with the heat? Did you have a fluid spirit, but as you struggle with problems, have you become hardened and stiff? Did the problem harden you, free spirit? Or are you like coffee beans, the beans that changes the hot water, the adversity into an aromatic drink? If you are like the coffee beans, when things are at their worst, you will get better and change the situation around you. And to everyone who listens today, may you will be like that coffee bean that will bring change as you practice nursing. Your great character that will be developed through the guidance of your clinical instructors will make you a better version of yourself. Excellent instructors that are committed to hone you not only with knowledge and skills but importantly with attitude. Future nurses who are the best for the Filipinos and the choice of the world. May you all draw strength from our Almighty, who is the great healer, so that you can shed light and bring hope to every patient that you will encounter. I will end this message with a quotation from Benjamin Franklin. Tell me, and I forget. Teach me, and I remember. Involve me. In behalf of the Association of Deans of the Philippine Colleges of Nursing, Region 12 Chapter, and of General Santos Doctors Medical School Foundation Incorporated, I would like to extend my warmest gratitude for inviting me today as your guest speaker in this Nurses Week celebration. Happy Nurses Week! Colegio de Kinapawan College!